This is the coolest mod. This is the coolest mod we have seen in so long. Look at this shield. But like these, these stone guys, this mod, this mod, this mod is insane. Strategy moon wizard. Oh, oh, oh. What? We have a bunch of amazing new mods for you guys today here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, a bunch of units, but first we have two maps. And this map is called the castle. And it seems to me, just guessing, just by looking at the map, that we have movable, destructible walls. I would like to see if all these things can be knocked down. I'm not sure if my cameraman can do anything. Uh, I'll try, but I don't believe the cameraman has the power to move any of these blocks. But I'm hope. Hold on. Did that block wiggle? No. Full speed. Huh. Uh, nope, no. Nope. Okay, I'm just crazy. Let's get some units, some of the new units on this map and try out these walls. So we have this new faction called the RPG Tabs, a bunch of role-playing game type units. For example, a healer, Ooh, he looks really good. Elemental Archer. Wow, these units actually look amazing. Assassin of the Wind. Let's drop them all. The Paladin. The Bazoo. The Berserker looks sick. The Necromancer. The Rock Wizard. My God. Chain of Death. The Strat. Oh, whoa, wait, wait. Is that a moon? Oh, it worked. It worked. The Empress of Light and then this thing. Oh my God. Okay, let's just take a look at these units. Look at these guys. Look at the weapon. Look at the shields. I have never seen models like this. These are all unique. Oh, isn't that the Tree of Gondor? Isn't that a Lord of the Rings shield? That's amazing. This helmet is beautiful. Over here, this giant berserker type thing. Look at this weapon. Look at the spikes on this thing. Oh my god. Look at the staff. Double serpents and stuff. A witch's hat. Over here, this guy's got a unique helmet. A beautiful bow. We have an assassin here rockings uh crossbows on his arms and some daggers and some punching daggers my goodness this guy is a reaper with chains and over here oh oh that's sad that might be the necromancer some sort of wizard of swords this guy's riding a moon i don't even know what to make of this guy that's just insane this guy here beautiful helmet kind of gondorian a beautiful sword this lady who's loud and then this guy who's crazy. Okay, um, we, we gotta check these guys out. Let's, let's give them a second. First off, let's take a look at the healer and see how he heals. His staff is glowing. You've got these beautiful particle effects. And he put a healing sphere over here. Guys, this is probably one of the coolest mods I've ever seen in this game. And it seems like this healer unit is having a hard time targeting properly. So if I get a handful of heals like this, and then we got a whole bunch of squires. Guys, I know we have to get to that new map, but we have those new units, and then we look at the new maps, and the new units on the new maps. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's see the healers. They're healing each other. They're not even trying to heal. Guys, this, this army's here. They're dying. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remove one of each healer. One last time. Try this again. Now the healers only have the armies to target. Will they heal properly? Let's find out. You can hear it. It's it, they, they can't seem to hit these targets. Do the targets need to be bigger? I don't want to spend this much time on these units. I just want to see the healing in effect. The healing actually being done. So get a couple of these uh, big old ice giants. Big fat targets. Like you can't miss. You can't miss healing these targets. There we go. Now they're being healed. I'm looking at the HP. I'm looking at the HP. The HP didn't seem... Oh, wow. Does it make them immune to the damage? I'll try it again. So I'm going I'm to start punching this red guy. Look how low HP I am right now. Okay, I'm in it. My HP was going up. Did you see that? My HP was going up a little bit, but then um, the Ice Giants got punched. Interesting unit. Now let's see the Elemental Archers in play. Their bows are glowing. Yo! What just happened to those units? It seems like these guys are frozen in time. And there seems to be some ice in there as well. Here's their bow arrow. Look at the arrow. Look at this. It's like a weird curving arrow curving around this, this central thing. In fact, actually, I can't get close to it. Guys, it has it has collision detection there. Or something was happening. Look at that. Look at actually, there's a, there's a wall here. I, I can't move. These these arrows. There's a blue one, ice. There's this purple one. My God, watch them go, explode, making walls of ice. You can see the snow raining down. Guys, this 
is this is the coolest mod this is the coolest mod we have seen in so long i can't get over how cool this is and we haven't even checked out all the units say goodbye to that poor 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 my god that's so cool okay assassins of the wind these guys sound phenomenal please oh yep they teleport and they're throwing little oh they're shooting crossbow bolts right because they got crossbows on their hands some beautiful diving the weapons on their hands are absolutely insane hold on hold on they have spikes on their feet too they've got boot knives teleport confusion some drop kicking going on you can see them the drop kick effect and the enemies are confused they're made white maybe poison on the blades oh look at the teleport oh my god this unit is sick time for the holy paladins to go these are the paladins the guys with the uh the gondorian shields the beautiful helm and these amazing maces covered in body armor what do the paladins do so far they're shoving their way through yo hold on a ring of light do you see that and then they were slowly tossed aside like a low gravity of what is going on and now what is this look at the shield but like these these stone guys this mod this mod this mod is insane this mod is insane i can't get over how crazy this mod is we've never seen stuff like this and totally guys the shield's pushing the units away they can't get past it look physically physically pushing the shield away this is the best mod in total Echo battle simulator i'm losing my mind these paladins are so cool now it is time for the berserkers and these guys look like they're ready to go to town look at the size of this weapon there better be some some fancy smoosh a shout a charge some ground effects of the chieftain more shouts i wanted to see like oh oh what's that ring hold on the, the berserkers have low gravity i think i think that's what that ring was it seemed to be low gravity let's add some more little squires in there it seemed to be a low gravity effect as they launched into the sky so there's a shout a shout charge knights are in there is this ground ability to get from the chieftain some grant that was the uh the tree folk ground slam berserkers jump into the sky and then slowly fall back down so the berserker jump into the sky ability seemed to be oh oh and now these guys are turned purple too the berserkers are also kind of crazy now we have the necromancer whoa they're about to cast they're doing something i'm in slow-mo right now right now i just want to almost see full speed necromancy they're waiting they're waiting for things to get into range they're in range but now the necromancer's what 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 on earth is this i can't get close i can't i physically can't get close to whatever this is and now all these units have been been killed by some kind of an effect like a fear effect but they're also dead we need we need bigger stronger units to survive that how about we go with the biggest stronger units in the game some ice giants maybe that'll help explain to us what's going on the necromancer seemed to be summoning something from the undead world some sort of evil being a portal to the nether realm activated ability very soon boom so they crashed in from the ground oh you hold on did you see the runes on the floor yeah see those runes that the the dark magic pattern on the ground it seems to be a black hole with an inner and an outer shell with lightning coming at it from uh, the and there's skeletons there's a skeleton they're spawning skeletons they're spawn points the necromancers have opened portals to the undead realm and now it's spewing out skeletons who are flying in this this is the best mod this is the best mod this is the coolest most elaborate mod i have ever seen in this game this nothing compares to this mod this is so amazing and one of the necromancers has survived let me possess him that is a long cooldown 20 seconds still on the cooldown for that ability the skeletons are dying hold on another portal opened who opened this portal over here because here come you can see the skeletons coming out of the portal right there boom you can see them big skeletons and small skeletons and this giant just punched the necromancer and now there's a, a portal between the necromancer and the giant is this a defensive ability of the necromancer every time he's hit it seems like he puts a bubble around himself to buy him some time see he was smacked and then the ice shrine is unable to smack him any further one more time boom there's a defensive and he summoned another portal into the nether realm 
as these skeletons come out to attack the ice shines. This, this is so cool. This is so cool. I can't get over this mod. Okay, this guy is called the Rock Wizard. This guy here, remember the, the staff, the, the shield? This is called the Rock Wizard. And now there's summoning a boatload of rocks and the rocks are, are spinning around units. They're rotating around these units, like, like almost like satellites, like little mini moons around human earths. See, you can see them spinning around all these units. This is a very interesting ability. I've never, oh, Stonehenge just showed up around this rock wizard again. As soon as melee units got too close, literal Stonehenge shows up this is the craziest mod this is the craziest mod i can't get over how cool this is okay i know you were curious about this one i was too the chains of death mr death himself has been upgraded with some chains hold on hold on have all these units been slowed down in time and now there's multiple sets of chains going around the map attacking units Mr. Death himself has summoned a great bundle of chains, and the chains are attacking all these blue units from all sorts of directions. What was that initial slam ability? It seemed to slow them down. Mr. Death himself is a little bit um, wrapped up in chains here. Looking awkward. Waiting patiently. Oh, there it is. All the units were slowed down for a split second. Chains respond, and then this monster of chains continues to slaughter all these units. That is so crazy, and the chains look so cool. Okay, I know you were curious about this wizard, so was I. This is called the Strategy Moon Wizard, and it's literally just a wizard sitting on the moon. He's, he's sitting on an asteroid, and he, he looks phenomenal, and his staff looks phenomenal. Straight out of Final Fantasy. Let's see what the Strategy Moon Wizard does. He's thrashing. Cast a spell, baby. C come on, cast a spell. Oh no, hold on, they're in on your moon. What's happening? Strategy Moon Wizard. Oh, oh, oh! What? There's meteors, guys. Look, pause. Look at this meteor. Guys, look. There's a meteor in the distance. Oh, my God. He's summoning meteors. You can see them all in the distance. There's one over there coming in. He's summoning meteors with a beautiful path. You can see the heat effects warping the air as well. Here comes another meteor. Right there. Coming in. Insane. Insane, here comes another meteor. Right here on the left. That is so cool. Can he do other things than meteors? The meteor, oh, it explodes, they hit the ground. That's kind of cool. Things are on fire. Does he just keep casting meteors? I mean, I use the words just and casting meteors. We can see the meteors coming in right there. Oh my God. Oh my God, here it comes, here it comes. Jeez, that's so crazy. This guy is called the Time Cutter Swordmaster. And we're just doing the RPG. Oh, this is the guy, the beautiful sword. Time Cutter Swordmaster. He better have some wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff going on. Here he goes. He's in. He did a really cool AoE slash. That was beautiful looking. Swords behind his back. A little bit awkward. Waiting to see where the time. Look at that. Look at this beautiful fire fire. The black lines, the flames, the light effects, sending all these units flying into the distance. Very cool. He's a really cool swordsman. Awkwardly, again, fighting with the sword behind his back. Probably ruining his effectiveness as a sword fighter. There was a the little black slash, and there is the fire slash. Also the different slash attacks. But nothing particularly in the way of time. I was expecting... He won. I was expecting some, like, slow-mo going on. This one's called the Empress of Light, and she is just the holiest holy paladin you have ever seen. What is she going to do to these units? What is she going to do? She's in on them. Trees. Fucking a forest has grown in the area and there's light glowing around the trees. You can even see these beautiful particles of light coming up out of the trees. But what do the trees do? She seems to have created a holy realm that she is fighting in. Maybe the holy realm gives, gives her straw. Oh, 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 something just happened. I don't know what that was. Fitting me add a couple tree giants for a little bit more HP. I wanted to see what that was. So something happened in those forests. Something happened in those woods. There she is, boom. She creates a force, a battlefield. I'm just waiting to see what she does. She's fighting, I'm watching the enemy units because there was some weird explosion going on that has killed everything. It happened instantly. Oh, oh, another tree, more trees are spawning. So what do the trees do? What do these trees do? I like how they're making this little like avenue right here. Oh, oh, there's some glowing light, some slow-mo. 
What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What is she doing? What 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 mega ability is she activating? It seems the tree giants have been slowed down. It seemed like a time control ability. This is so crazy. She's smacked around by these tree giants. And the tree giants actually managed to defeat her. This guy is called the Black Integrity Swordsman. Look at the ice coming off this one sword. You can actually see the glowing frost. And you can hear the flames coming off this fire sword. It's an ice sword, a fire sword. These units are burnt to death. You can see that. Does that mean other units will freeze to death from the other sword? Yep, there's a fire. And there's the ice with a ring of ice left behind from the impact. Very powerful. So one sword will burn the units and one sword will freeze the units. Look at these guys. Frozen solid in slow motion. They're, they're moving around in slow motion. So is there some time involved as well? And he's leaping around like a grasshopper. Like Yoda from Star Wars fighting these tree giants who are trying to smack him. And he can't seem to freeze or put on fire either of these units, which is crazy. He has very nice gravity effects. He slows down very well. He's having a hard time slashing at the angles of these tree giants, but so far so good. This unit seems to be doing his job. I'm not seeing any other abilities other than the ice sword and the fire sword. So now the moment I alluded to in the beginning of this video, we're gonna take a look at the two new maps on top of these new units. Now that we know that these moon guys summon meteorites, I actually gave each side a moon guy because I want to see the meteorites and find out if they can actually destroy these walls that I believe are destructible. The attacking army walks in, the defending army moves in. These are all, look, look, the walls are coming down. And I did have to do the meteors. Where, where are the meteors? Oh. There's the trees, the black hole effect, the first meteor, the second, the third. Oh, no, there's too much. It's insane. You've got the skeletons spawning through the black hole effect. You've got the trees of light from the paladins. Lots and lots of trees and light. Meteors continue to bombard the castle to destroy everything we've seen. It is just insane. Is this I can't even, I don't even get close. I don't even get close to this fight. There's the big old beams of light from the paladin. I don't know if that's gonna heal everything within range. We're gonna try and get close to the action, see what's going on, but there's just pandemonium in here. Explosive effects going on. Big paladins and berserkers fighting each other. Meteorites coming in, destroying everything. Beams of light, sections of darkness, black holes. I, I my camera. Something knocked my camera out of there, guys. This map is cool. So I think it's about time we have some fun with our favorite little lizard friend thing. In the middle, we have his majesty's royal army. Three rows of gallant knights all protecting their king. Healers to try and keep those knights alive. And his royal majesty in all of his glory. What we're going to do in this video is have some crazy battles. The best, craziest battles you've ever seen. And to start, the raptors are going to attack. Raptors attack in three two, one, go. We're gonna go slow-mo just to appreciate the raptors pushing in on all of those knights. Look at them try and push the line. The knights are holding strong and the healers are doing their jobs. Oh, the raptors are getting in on the healers. No, no, no. Wow, there's a lot of dead raptors. I underestimated just how good the knights are gonna be. Look at that. The knights were like, wow. amazing. So this is a cool concept. You have the knights and you have the ring, but what if we take the ring and move it, let's say, here, right? Let's take it, let's shrink it even further, and then inside, add new units. So we have a Jarl, some Ice Archers, some Berserkers, and some Brawlers, and you know we're grabbing the Raptors. So what we have here is two separate battles, two Bastions of Defense defending against all the Raptors in three, two, one, go. Slow-mo is on just to save my computer. We'll talk about that later on in the video. Take a look at the Raptors pushing the Vikings. Oh, the Vikings did not hold up nearly as well as the Knights. Right, if we go over here to the Knights, they're doing a great job protecting their king. The king is in the middle, completely untouched. But over here by the Vikings, <laughs> it's a Raptor pile. It's like a rice cake of Raptors, and it's amazing. There's a Jarl. He's in there somewhere. I don't know where, but he's in there somewhere. Full speed. 
Oh, these raptors are doing short work of the Vikings, guys. Now, the problem is, can the raptors kill the Vikings before the knights turn around and call? Oh, oh, here come the knights. Raptors are looking pretty good, but those knights are on the way, and they're going to make short, short work of all these raptors, especially this one flying in the sky. Oh, the knights are closing in. The knights are closing in. His world mad is alive. And boom, the knights engage on the raptors. Look at them charge in. Shield bashing that raptor. That is so cool. Now the knights have reached the main part of the host as they get to work. Almost left of these raptors who seem to have finished all the Vikings, especially this one that this raptor has in his teeth. And that's all she wrote the knights were victorious i don't think a single viking survived <laughs> let's take our line let's put our line somewhere we can defend how about right there that's perfect and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with spartans and maybe at the back wrap another row of spartans and who better to attack the spartans than over eager hungry vicious Raptors. Lots of raptors. Lots of raptors. There we go. Equal points raptors versus what looks to be the Spartan army holding the hot gates. Oh, these raptors are so excited. They want to get in there so bad. Raptors pushing the hot gates against the Spartans, defending Zeus in three, two, one, go. Full speed. Raptors going in. Oh, the Spartan ranks could not hold up. Look <laughs> the raptors throng. <laughs> Just swarming those Spartans. A lot of dead raptors. That's a lot of dead raptors. A lot of dead Spartans, but a lot of dead raptors. Oh, no. Uh, looks like the Spartans. Yep, the Spartans pulled it off. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Five or six left. Not too bad. The Spartans did a pretty good job fighting the raptors. So that fight's fun, but what if I took the line and then I put it over here? And I made a different fight right here in this section. I think farmers are going to defend against raptors because I'm a terrible human being. There we go. Equal raptors against equal farmers. And just to make this fight a little more interesting, we're going to add a handful more raptors. I want to give these guys a bit of a challenge, right? Just, just a bit more. Perfect. Now we have two separate fights going on. Let's see who wins. We get a sky view. I want to see the raptors push the farmers. Check this out. It's like a tidal wave of blue raptor. <laughs> They're pushing up and over top. Oh, that looks so cool. It's like a movie. It's like watching Jurassic Park. Oh, that's so cool. His raptors coming around the back. Yum, 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 yum. Our increased raptor horde is fighting hard against the hoplites, so there's still a fair amount of hoplites left, and they're in on Zeus. Poor Zeus is getting nom nom nom. Over here, our raptors seem to be making short work of all the farmers. Taking a look, there are a few. Oh no, look at all the scythe users, guys. There's a lot left. There's a lot of farmers left. The farmers might be able to hold off. The hot gates. They really help. Having these little gaps make a big difference. Going back over to the hoplites, it seems like, yep, Zeus is dead. There's a handful of hoplites and Ceresis left. And these guys are kind of like hopping around, doing their own thing. They're moving in on the final little bit of Spartans. Look at these raptors go. Look at this one. Look at them go. Look at that majestic beast. And he just knocked himself out. Oh, the farmers. They've done it. They're defending. Look how many scythe users are left. Oh, that's so cool. It's amazing watching the farmers walk on the corpses of all the raptors they've slain. Just stab that raptor in the ribs. Over on this side, it seems like the Spartans might still hold it. There's a handful of raptors left alive. More than a handful. The farmers, victorious, are going to cross and help out with their friendly neighbors. Guys, gotta say, these raptors aren't as good as everyone kind of thinks. I love them. They're really fun, but they're not that powerful. You know what fight I've always wanted to try? Let's take our line. Let's rotate the line. Let's make it the red on the outside, blue up top, and let's put the line right there. Now, why? You may be asking, why, Crow? Why put the line there? Well, you see, if you have a whole lot of units in this open space, funneling into the stairwell, up the stairwell to face a few, we have an interesting fight. The few that they're going to face at the very top, we're going to put one, two, three, four Artemis. At the bottom, oh, you guessed it. 
the whole point of this video, Raptors. Four Artemis versus 200 Raptors. Who's going to win? Let's find out. In move the Raptors going into the hot gates, getting completely funneled right here, just as I was hoping. Look at the Raptors. They're just swarming up and into this, like a humongous wave of ants. And that is just so cool. But lo and behold, they're being shot at by the Artemis. As you can see the Artemis arrows raining down on the Raptor pile. They're getting in there and they're actually getting a little bit jammed beneath this archway. But the ones in the back are pushing the ones in the front as we move further and further up. You can see the Raptors shoving in from the bottom. All 200, all 200 Raptors fitting in such a tight space. Let's get some full speed going to move this along. You can slowly see the Raptors climbing up. Yes, they're getting in amongst the Artemis as we speak. Check that out. These Artemis are killing them as they close. Four Artemis jam-packed in this stairwell, preventing the Raptors from getting too close. What a crazy fight. I've never seen anything like this before in totally accurate battle simulator. It's a kind of a bit of a draw. I mean, these Raptors down here, I mean, just look, look at these Raptors all trying to get up the stairs. They're stuck. They can't really get up for a while because of all their dead brethren. Now, the dead ones are falling down. That's happening. It's hard for them to get close to these Artemises. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we can safely say that the Artemis are going to win this fight. I've been staring at this map for five minutes, and I just had an idea. Can I take the line? And can I put the line up here? First question, can a unit go up here? Oh, look, we can put units on the top of the mountain. Okay, so we have units up there. Can any unit get up and attack it? Uh, let's try it. Let's just uh, take some teachers and just do that. And I want to see what happens. Where are they going? So the fan unit is going to this side. Does that mean that the teachers can climb this side of the mountain? No way. No way can they climb this. Oh. Oh my god, they could. Oh my god, I had a crazy idea. Now, teachers are not very good climbers. You know, probably are good climbers. Raptors. Quick test before we begin. Simple bard. Can the raptors get up here and get to the bard? That's all I want to know. Oh. Oh, look at the raptors. Come on. Come on, you can do it, boys. Get up the hill. Some of our raptors are a little derpy, but some of them are making it up the hill. Look at this guy go. He's the champion. This is the champion raptor. He's going to make it. Come on, dude. You can do it. Please, for the love of God, don't do flips. Oh, 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 they got the bard. Hey. Now, let me prepare my master plan. Remember my 1,000 archers versus 10 ice giants fight? Now you're going to have 1,000 raptors ready to climb the mountain to go and attack 10 Artemis. That's it. Just 10 Artemises. 1,000 raptors. 10 Artemises. Clearly the advantage is in the raptors' favor. They have the sheer numbers. This is like the Battle of Helm's Deep. These are the orcs and these are the humans or elves. Here we go. Battle of Helm's Deep in three two one go now i have to hold slow-mo if i don't hold slow-mo here's what happens <laughs> it's like one frame a second see if we do ultra slow-mo i actually get really good frame rates as you can see the raptors are beginning to approach the base of the mountain the raptors over here are working along the edge of the mountain no one's trying to climb up in any other direction it seems the one side is the only side for the raptors to go so every single raptor is working the way in that direction. So now the raptors are working the way up the mountain. The arrows are beginning to fly from our Artemises. As you can see, we are in ultra slow-mo. The arrows are moving. Time is still going. The Artemises are up here. They're taking their shots. Some of them are not facing the right direction. Some of them are a little bit derpy, eyes going in weird directions. But imagine, imagine being an archer and all you see is 1,000 raptors flooding their way towards you just insane you can't even see the shape of the mountain as raptor climbs over raptor in their attempt to make it to the top of the mountain even on regular slow-mo you can see just how desperate they are to make it up the mountain the artemises aren't moving they're totally fine staying up there and raptor after raptor does fall and die as these things continue their climb the wall of world war z raptors are starting to make it halfway up the mountain and getting very 
very close to the very first Artemis, things are about to get really interesting. The progress of our Raptor Ant Horde is getting very stunted here. There's so many arrows coming from these Artemises, even though there seems to be a little bit of friendly fire here. Lots of arrows going right into this pile, preventing them from climbing a whole lot further. Look at that. It's like a giant snake or a bunch of snakes slithering the way up the mountainside. With slow-mo turned off, you can see them inching their way. The entire group of raptors are inching their way further and further up the mountain. It's, it's, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen in this game. I think, yep, as you can see, the Artemises are being swarmed. There's an Artemis right in there being completely enveloped by raptors. This Artemis is about to be jumped on. This poor raptor got shot in the face. This Artemis down here, she's screwed. I mean, look at those eyes. You see those eyes? She knows she's screwed. If we zoom out, it's truly a feat to see what the raptors have done. It looks almost like moss or some kind of plant growth, right? From this distance, it looks like nothing more than vines covering the mountain. Those aren't vines, those are all raptors. <laughs> Pretty much every raptor from the field is gone and they're all clinging to the side of a mountaintop. Oh, let's take a look at our fight. We've let it go a little bit further. There's one Artemis being gnawed. That's a dead Artemis. Look. Look at these Artemises, they're fighting for their life. This raptor's like, hey, hey girl, how you doing? This Artemis is like, don't even think about it. And the raptor's like, oh, I wasn't doing anything. Don't mind me. One, two, three, four Artemises right here, just kind of fending for themselves, surrounded this Artemis here, alive, but completely sandwiched against the mountain by the raptor horde. At this point, you can't even see the Artemis. You can see little bits of blue poking through but the raptors have finally climbed pretty much the entire mountain. Raptors have officially made it to the height of the mountain. As you can see, boom, raptors, the height of the mountain. They've done it. They've scaled the thing. They've surrounded the Artemises, and now it's only a matter of time until they win. I can squeeze in here and just barely make out the blue. There's an Artemis face right there, completely surrounded by all the raptors. Raptors are on top of the mountain. They've done it. They've scaled the whole thing. They're standing up here being completely awesome. Look how happy this raptor is. He's so proud to be on top of the mountain. You can see a few stragglers down here, but for the most part, the bulk is up the mountain. This is insane. The craziest fight I have ever seen in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator.